So a big update just dropped. Uh, this includes the stoplight and stop sign uh, recondition in Canada, at least, and as well as a new game, Fallout Shelter. Uh, I've been excited about this game for a while since I found out it was coming because I've played this game on mobile and I love it. Uh, so I'm excited for this to finally show up in the cars and uh, let's uh, take a look. I'll give you a brief walkthrough and uh, give you some tips and tricks. Let's uh, load up this game. Uh, so we're gonna make a vault. Let's uh, start off a new one. Let's uh, sign in a number. Uh, so the follow-up games are pretty popular. Uh, they're big video games. Uh, for those who are not familiar with it, basically the premise is there was a nuclear war and uh, all the people basically hid in these vaults underground uh, for all that time. So basically they live in these vaults. Uh, so the premise of this game is that you are in charge of that vault. Uh, basically you want to make sure people are working and people are happy and uh, people stay alive. Uh, so basically that's your job. Uh, you are going to see that you'll get these little rooms and you're assigned dwellers. Uh, let's uh, take a look here. So basically you make some rooms. Uh, there's a little guide here to help you throughout the process. Uh, but basically you want to build a good idea to put your power generation right here. Uh, and I'll explain that in a second. Uh, so basically you'll get these little dwellers show up at your door. Uh, this guy's name is uh, Joseph Knight. Uh, you can see these special ratings. Those are important because uh, each dweller has a specific uh, job that they'll get me good at. Uh, so S is for strength, which is good for the power generation. Uh, P is for perception. Uh, you'll want those guys in the water generation. Uh, e is for endurance, just basic general endurance. Uh, C is charisma. If you put them in the living quarters, uh, they will get frisky. Uh, I is for intelligence. Uh, you'll use those for any labs like the stim packs and the uh, rataways that you're going to make. Uh, a is for agility. You'll want those in the dining rooms. And L is for luck. Uh, we'll explain luck in a few minutes. Uh, so basically, you're going to take this dweller and uh, drag it into your vault and we'll drop him in the uh, power generation. Uh, same with this uh, young lady here. Uh, so basically they all go in your vault, this is your vault, and there's uh, you got all these rooms. Basically you want to expand your vault, you're both going down, building elevators in different levels, and across making different uh, rooms. Uh, so these guys are going to go in the room and they're going to start producing power. Uh, your power bar is up here, along with your food and your water, and you want these not to be in the red. Uh, so this is your power room. Basically, uh, one option is to rush the room. Uh, so you can see here, in two minutes, they're going to produce power. Or you can rush it and get it quicker. However, there's an instant percentage rate. There's a 33% chance that something bad is going to happen and the room's going to turn into fire. You don't want that to happen. But we'll go ahead and activate it. So when you get it activated, uh, you get some power and you also get some caps. Uh, caps is the currency. Uh, basically, you buy rooms and you upgrade stuff with your caps. Uh, so we're going to build a second room. We're going to do a diner. And a good spot for the diner is over here because you don't need, it uh, doesn't take a lot of food to make. Uh, so the dining room can be smaller than your, both your power and your water. Uh, so now it's going to be water here. Uh, we'll put the water underneath the power because what we can do here is make the a three room setup here. So basically we have all the rooms that we need. Uh, now we're going to get five more dwellers. You can see a plus five, that means there's five guys waiting to come in. Uh, so basically, if you take these guys and you drag them, uh, you'll see a number, little number two over there. That means she's got an agility of two. Uh, if you put an S, that means she's plus one, so she'll 
if you put her here, she you're getting one more point above, over the guy that's there right now. Uh, so if you drop her here, uh, the one guy she's replacing will just wander off and not have a job. Uh, so you can put her here into the other room. So basically you're going throughout the game, uh, moving dwellers around wherever they fit best. Uh, so there's two here, two minus one. So we can put her here, that's where she's good at. Then you'll get these quests, these uh, missions right here that you complete, you'll get caps. And we'll turn the tips off because uh, I'm giving you the tips right now. Uh, so same guy here. So he's minus one, so you'll lose. If you put him, put him in here, you'll lose. Uh, you'll even up there, and there's no one here, so we'll put him here. Uh, so these guys are all full. So if you put him here, you, get, you gain three points. So we'll put him here, and the other guy can wander around. Uh, so basically that's the premise of the game. I'll show you quickly how you can uh, make bigger rooms. Uh, so you can make two across. The max is you can do three across. And that's what you want with your power and your water. Um, you also have to upgrade your living quarters if you want more people. Uh, so we'll do that. Yeah, eventually more people will come to your vault. Uh, you'll also be able to uh, upgrade weapons and outfits and actually customize the look of each dweller as well as you can also name them uh, different names. Uh, so this guy's Gabriel Clark, if you want. You can, uh, I guess you can't change the name of mobile, you can. Uh, so another dweller shows up. Uh, we can put her in the quarters, living quarters, because uh, we don't have any jobs for her. Uh, actually, this guy walked around because with a double room like that, you can have four people work in it. Uh, so we actually have her working there as well. So yeah, uh, there's tons of room you can build. Uh, like I said, the Med Bay and Science Lab, you'll get those uh, later, later on. Overseer's Office is when you can actually do missions outside the, uh, the vault, which is pretty cool. Uh, and all these other things, uh, the weapons, the weight room, and flight room, is to upgrade your special stats. Uh, so you can max out your little dwellers. Uh, and then you keep going, you just upgrade your rooms. Uh, your nuclear reactor is an upgraded version of the power generation. The same with the garden is an upgraded version of the diner. Uh, water is obviously upgraded for the water. And the nuclear cola bottler is actually uh, does both, water and food. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. We can go and visit each uh, each room and see what they're up to. You can see they're happy. That's basically the goal: is you want your brothers to be happy, and uh, they'll also give you some funny little quotes like that. So yeah, that's basically the game. So one of the good things with this game is kind of like Stardew Valley, where you can just leave it uh, when you get a few minutes. You can play it again. Uh, it does get a lot more interesting when uh, you level up in the game because you're going to get to do quests. Uh, and stuff will start attacking you, like uh, the Raiders and the Death Claws, and it gets crazy at times. So uh, yeah, this is a really great game to have. I uh, hope you all enjoy it. And if uh, you want me to do a uh, full review and walkthrough and uh, tips and tricks, definitely leave a comment.